All right, I think it's time for us to have a little chat about what's been going on. No, I'm not boycotting Harley, and it's not the reason why there's an Indian in my background right now. My lowrider ST is just at the Harley shop right now because something happened and they're fixing it. We'll dive into that in a separate video. There's a lot going on at the moment and things are still a bit unclear. And I'm still trying to navigate on how to talk about certain things or how to go about certain topics at the moment. We're living in a very fragile environment, um, a fragile time with a lot of fragile minds. So I need to be very careful with the words I use and how I say things on here because people just get offended about everything nowadays. Talk about that a little more on another video. What I want to focus on today is Harley Davidson sending some of their bikes to get made in Asia and why. Davidson has backtracked on that promise, planning to manufacture these bikes abroad and send them to the U.S. for American consumers. Brian Bryant, president of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers, said in a statement. Now, everything is out in the open and out in the space for anyone and everyone to read about it. Um, Harley-Davidson is moving some of their motorcycles to be produced in Thailand. And these bikes are going to be any bike with a Revolution Max engine. So your Pan America, your Sportsha lineup, which concludes of the Nightster, the Nightster Special, and the Sportster S. Now, the core of the motorcycle company, which is the baggers and the soft tails, will remain in the US. So we don't have to worry about those bikes. As part of our overall manufacturing optimization strategy, Harley-Davidson is to temporarily transition the production of its non-core Revolution Max powertrain equipped models. Once again, that's the Pan America, the Sportster S, the Nyster, to its existing manufacturing facility in Thailand for model year 2025 now they said that they're going to be doing this for the year of 2025 now is this something that they're maybe trying something new maybe 2025 will be a trial run for them they might be returning those motorcycle productions back to the u.s the year after that i'm not certain about that i'm not too sure now you might be asking yourself why is an american iconic company moving their american motorcycles to be made in asia it doesn't make any sense to me, it doesn't make any sense, but there, there's a lot behind closed doors that people like you and I might not know about. But then again, there is certain things that we do know. We are aware of tariffs and, and taxes and shipping costs and this and that and a lot. There's a lot that goes into the logistics of making a motorcycle, sending it out, or at that, making any type of product. A few years back, there was a lot of things going on between the European unions and the U.S. unions, and they were slapping tariffs on them, and they were slapping tariffs on them, so it was a big back and forth thing. But at the end of the day, you know, who pays for all this? Us, the consumers. We are just bystanders. Now, we got to sit back and think about how this is going to affect the company or us, the consumers, once again. Um, let's talk about the bikes that they're going to be producing overseas. We're talking about the Pan America, the Nightster, and the Sportster S. These are motorcycles that really don't sell that much. It's no lie, Harley-Davidson makes most of its money when it comes to motorcycles from the baggers and somewhat of the soft tails. I mean, the Low Rider S, the Low Rider ST, and the Street Bob sell like butter. Then we got the Road Glide and the Street Glide, which are up here. and that's where most of the money comes from. When it comes to these other bikes with the Red Max engine, I mean, it, like that's, I mean, the Nysters don't sell that well at all. Like they sit for a while before they sell. The Pan Americas have been picking up a bit of traction in the past few months. Um, I, I absolutely love that bike. I don't know why they're not selling more of them, but it's, it's a beautiful, beautiful bike, man. Um, so that's the only one that I'm like, a little weary about I'm like well I think if we focus more on marketing and promo of the Pan America we could be moving more units the Nightster is gonna be such a hard sell still because 
we transitioned from seeing an A83 or Sportster 1200 or any type of bike in the Sportster lineup to the new Nightsters. And for a lot of people, it was like a, whoa, this, this just looks too different. I don't know if it was too much of a change that kind of pushed people back or not. Um, it's basically Harley Davidson's entry level bikes. Do I think Harley Davidson should have a cheaper alternative? Absolutely, yes, especially in today's market. We need a bike that's gonna start maybe at $9,000 and not 12. We need to get younger riders into the market and offering a cheaper alternative will help you with that. Now, let's talk about something else. How do you feel as an American? who wants to buy an American-made product. Do you want to buy a motorcycle that's made in Asia to then get shipped to the US? I'm not sure about that. Now, I don't know what the whole strategy is because from what I was reading, the bikes are gonna be produced there and then they're gonna get shipped back and it's just a whole back and forth, it's weird. Um, if it was to kind of take production over there and kind of leave those bikes just for the Asian and European market, that makes sense. But if we're gonna ship these production overseas to so then ship the bikes back home, it's a lot of logistics and a lot of back and forth. Um, I just, that I don't get that much. We saw the launch of these two smaller models that were introduced to the Asian market last year. And we all knew that these bikes were Harley Davidson motorcycles, but they were gonna be for the Asian market and that was it. People didn't really care about that much. I mean, the bikes looked mediocre. They, you know, it was for the Asian market, so nobody really cared about that. But when you take in some motorcycles that are made here to be sold here, and they're gonna be made outside, that's where I think some people may have a, a bit of a hard time digesting that idea. Now, like I said, they're gonna be trying this for 2025, so who knows, 2026 could come back around and, production moves back into the US. But they also did confirm that this move will not have any type of impact in the facilities of the US workers. In fact, what they wanna do is kinda of ramp up more of the production when it comes to the core motorcycles, when it comes to the baggers, and when it comes to the soft tails. What that's telling me is that they're just gonna expand on those two lines and either, hey, we might or could be expecting more models or they might just know something that we don't. Maybe we're gonna be selling a lot more motorcycles than we did the year before. Harley Davidson confirmed the change but disagreed with the union on the job issue. This does not have an impact on employment at US facilities, the company said. Additionally, building on an 89 million department of energy grant and as part of this move, Harley also says it's investing in an additional nine million into the US manufacturing facility to strengthen their capabilities and capacity for core products. So there you have it. Could we be expecting more models from the soft tail or bagger lineup for next year? Could be, but they are investing in the facilities here in the US. So they're not shrinking, they're trying to expand, they're trying to make them better. Now I'm sure that a lot of the people that are upset or complaining about this are the same people who also hate on um, the sports lineup or the Pan America. These are the same people who say, hey, that's not a Harley, or I don't want any of these new type of looking bikes. I'll bring the Dyna back. These are the same type of people. So if the people that are complaining about this issue are not purchasing these motorcycles, I mean, does it really matter? Now, I wanna know your thoughts, your feedback down below. Let me know what you guys think about this move. Do you think it's the right one? Do you not care about it? Do you, or are you in the market to buy yourself a sports store or a Pan America in the near future? And if so, the fact that they will not be made in the US, will that stop you from buying one? I'm happy that I got my little Rider ST, well, to the shop. I'll be getting it back next week. I'm a huge supporter and a huge advocate for the company. I mean, I wear the clothing, I ride the bike, I got the logo tattooed on my leg, um, and I want the company to last and to win. So with that being said, I am only wishing for the best for the future. I hope that the people on top are making the right decisions. And I definitely want to see this company last another 121 years. Let me know how you feel down below as well. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.